Very expensive electronics are pricing out at 25 cents. Maybe not as well known as some other chains, Aldi offers a bare bones shopping experience to keep its prices low. So go ahead and grab a deal, but here are 10 things you should never do at Aldi. Forget the deposit. Hey, it's my lucky day. A penny. Yeah, luck just ran out. Most people use a shopping cart when they go grocery shopping. But when you shop at most grocery stores, you don't have to put down a deposit to use that shopping cart. If you're going to shop at the German-owned Aldi supermarket chain, you're going to have to get used to having a supply of quarters on hand. You have to put a quarter in a slot to release a cart from the stack. When you return the cart to the stack, you'll get the quarter refunded to you. Some people might think this is somewhat of an odd setup compared to most American groceries stores. You might be wondering, what's behind this refundable deposit scheme anyway? Aldi considers the small deposit to be a cost-saving measure because the chain doesn't have to hire people to run around the parking lot to collect the shopping carts and bring them back to the front of the store. It would be helpful to know about the deposit in advance because forgetting to bring quarters is one of those things you should never do when going to Aldi. Some shoppers have found ways around making the deposit, such as finding a cart that was left behind in the parking lot by another shopper. Easy peasy. This might sound like a good idea, but you can't count on this tactic, so you should probably just bring along some quarters. Dial your local Aldi. Hello? Mom, get off the phone! Grocery stores like Aldi want to satisfy their customers' needs as much as they can, but there are limits to what they can do. Unlike many businesses, this grocery store chain would rather you didn't pick up the phone. In fact, Aldi stores don't always list a phone number on its website. There's no need to call HR, okay? The company insists that most of the time you can find what you're looking for on its website, so there really is no reason to pick up the phone. However, some Aldi stores do list their phone number online, but there's a catch. If you decide you must call the number, you won't be connected to your local store. Instead, you'll be connected to an automated system. This system refers you to Aldi's website where you can find the answers to most of your questions. However, if you need help with specific questions, such as how to schedule a pickup at a nearby Aldi or even a delivery to your house, Aldi has you covered. You will be transferred to Aldi's customer service department where a representative will help you. Forget to BYOB. A shopping bag. They had a shopping bag when they came back to the car. Grocery shopping is a chore many people would rather not do, but a little preparation can help make the experience a lot less of a hassle. When shopping at the Aldi grocery chain, make sure to bring your own reusable bags. Aldi will charge a few cents for the store's plastic bags, and on top of that, the town you're shopping in might also tack on a few cents for good measure. These ones are 15 pay. No, I can carry all this. You can avoid the these annoying little charges by keeping several bags in your car at all times. When you get to the store, you'll only have to remember to bring them into the store with you. But if you forget your bags, Aldi has you covered because the grocery chain sells its own line of reusable bags to choose from. The clerks at the register are busy and are actually timed and evaluated based on how quickly they can get you out the door and move on to the next customer. This means that you shouldn't be surprised when the Aldi employees want you to bag your own groceries when you check out. Some people might not want to bag their own groceries, but it seems that most Aldi customers are willing to do this in order to enjoy these significant savings. Whether you like to bag your own groceries or not, don't forget to bring your own grocery bags when shopping at Aldi. Leave a cart behind. Just don't do it, promise? To save money, the Aldi grocery store chain hires fewer employees than most other stores. Aldi locations average about 10 employees, which seems like a very small number for a grocery store. The company and the employees make it work, but they don't have a lot of extra time for extra work, like cleaning up after you. One of the things you should never do in Aldi is leave your cart behind in the middle of shopping. Maybe you had to leave unexpectedly and it couldn't be helped. However, you should know that if you leave a cart full of groceries behind, you're leaving it for employees that are already stretched pretty thin. It's too much! It's too much! One of them will have to take the time to put all your items back on the shelves. Leaving your cart behind in a grocery store might seem like a small thing, but it's actually quite an inconvenience for a grocery chain like Aldi, which tends to be understaffed compared to other grocery chains. Aldi employees ask that if you do decide to abandon your cart, to please hand it over to one of them 
instead of just leaving it in an aisle for them to find later. Of course, the real solution is not to leave your cart behind in the first place if you can avoid it. Show your support by hitting that like button. We do appreciate it. Now, let's keep going. The show goes on! Yeah! Expect employees to referee. What are you gonna do about it? Nothing. You filed. You can't do anything. Everyone loves lower prices, but sometimes paying less at Aldi grocery stores comes with an unfortunate cost that customers and employees shouldn't have to pay. Normally, shoppers don't have to worry about getting into a confrontation at their local grocery store. However, when several people compete to get their hands on a quickly dwindling Aldi sale item, tempers can flare up with little warning, sometimes to the point of physical confrontations between customers. Customers. How do you feel, Chuck? I went from happy to angry. And while this type of situation is troubling, it's also troubling to think that Aldi employees might end up in the middle of the scuffle. Expecting employees to act as referees and break up an altercation should not be in the job description at Aldi. No sale is worth getting into a fight over, but some people are going to act inappropriately and there's nothing you can do about it. The employees are just trying to do their jobs and should not be put in the position of referee for people who choose not to control themselves. They have a lot of real work to do. And besides, the item in question will likely be available again soon. Obviously, the smart thing to do is to just check back a little later to see if the item has been restocked instead of throwing down with a fellow shopper. Next time you're shopping at your local Aldi grocery store, try to keep your temper under wraps so the hardworking employees can go about their day without any unnecessary drama. Wear out your welcome. 30 more minutes to go, man. We better not have no late night ass coming in here. Closing time at Aldi stores is relatively early, with most locations opening at 9 a.m. and locking the doors for the night at 9 p.m. Even though the store hours are clearly posted at the store and on the website, this doesn't stop some of the less thoughtful customers from trying to press their luck. These troublemakers will show up mere minutes before closing time and expect to be able to shop for a full grocery order. Aldi employees work hard, and they undoubtedly look forward to going home after a long day. After the door are closed at 9 p.m., the employees can't immediately punch out because there's still work to do. When customers ignore the posted hours, they can significantly delay the work that needs to be done. This is why shopping after hours is one of the things that you should never do in Aldi. Also, Aldi employees have made it clear they would rather customers didn't linger too long in the restrooms. For whatever reason, some customers apparently spend more time in the restroom than others. What is taking so long? We have to remember Remember that most people would not like it if someone showed up at their place of business right at closing time. Former Aldi employees have explained that if you do insist on shopping right before the store is to close, it would be better to limit the number of purchases and use one of the self-checkout stations if possible. The quicker you get out of the store, the quicker the staff can go home. Twice is nice. Twice. Twice. Two times. One of the things people like most about shopping at the Aldi grocery chain is the significant amount of money they save on their bill. Some customers have reported spending only about half the amount of money they usually spend at other grocery stores for the same amount of food. Aldi is also recognized as a place that offers its customers quality products, even though they are a lot cheaper than the competition's brand name products. Every now and then, one of the products you buy at Aldi might not be to your liking, but don't get stressed out about it. This is where Aldi's unique twice as nice policy comes into play. When you bring an item that you don't like back to an Aldi store, they will replace the unwanted item with a comparable product. But the best part is that the store will also refund your money. I love it. This is simply awesome. This twice as nice policy is a very good deal, especially in an era where many stores will try to give you store credit instead of giving you your money back. The twice as nice policy is a nice little perk for shoppers, and forgetting to use it is one of the things you should never do in Aldi. Wonder why prices may vary. Jesus, why is it so expensive here? The prices you pay for particular items at your local Aldi might not be the same prices you'll see in a different part of the country. You shouldn't be surprised if you pay a little more or even less for an item than you're used to paying. There are a number of reasons for these variations in prices at different Aldi locations, but the major causes include different levels of consumer demand, competition with other grocery stores, and operating costs. These factors can 
differ quite a bit from region to region, and sometimes they can result in significant variations in prices you might notice when you check out. If you notice a price increase on an item you recently bought at your local Aldi, you can ask the store manager to refund you the difference. Get the refund, huh? However, you should keep in mind this isn't an official policy you can count on every time. You should probably know that the Aldi chain does not play the price matching game like some other grocery store chains do. Aldi insists that its everyday prices are usually lower than the competition anyway, so there isn't really any need to do price matching. This policy might not make everyone happy, but keep in mind that you're paying significantly less most of the time at Aldi. Miss out on adult beverages. I got one! Hey. Hey. Alcohol has been an increasingly significant percentage of many grocery chains' bottom lines for years, and Aldi is smart enough to get a piece of this very lucrative action. If you're a wine drinker, you're in luck, because Aldi sells good quality bottles of wine for as low as $8. I'd like your $8-est bottle of wine, please. So, how good is this suspiciously cheap wine? Aldi's Cote de Provence Rosé won a prestigious international award called the Great Value Award, so wine experts agree that it's actually pretty good. Wine enthusiasts can choose from a fairly extensive selection that includes white wine, red wine, rosé, and sparkling wine. If you're more of a beer drinker, Aldi has you covered as well, because the chain offers a collection of domestic, imported, and premium beers to try. If you need some suggestions, you're in luck. The chain will help you out with its Wines of the Month and Beers of the Month programs that feature seasonal selections. So if adult refreshments happen to be on your shopping list, skipping the cheap alcohol is definitely one of the things you should never do in Aldi. Suffer from brand envy. This isn't our normal cereal. Well, because this is the store brand. But it's delicious. A lot of shoppers are pretty particular about some of the popular name brands they buy at the grocery store. This loyalty to particular brands usually isn't an issue because most grocery stores are packed with thousands of brand name products. The Aldi grocery store chain, however, is a little different in this respect because you will be hard pressed to find the popular name brands like Coca Cola, Skippy, or Frito Lay. You can certainly buy a lot of different kinds of soda, including cola, but it just won't be the brands you're used to buying. Peanut butter, cereal, snack chips, and all the other products you're used to seeing are there, but in slightly different forms. Same, same, but different. But still same. You'll just have to adjust your expectations if you're used to buying particular brands. You shouldn't worry about this, though, because the products Aldi sells are of good quality and are comparable to many of the brand names you're used to seeing at other stores. An urge to reject a lesser-known brand at Aldi should be dismissed, because you'd likely be missing out on a good value. Many Aldi customers will tell you the brands you find on the shelves are usually as good or better than the name brand so it will just take a little time to become familiar with all the different products that this grocery store chain offers. Just a little bit. I can't stress the littleness of it enough. Thanks for sticking around. We've got more videos just for you, so stay right here and check one out.